Hey, what's up, everybody? So, in this video, I'm gonna talk about my new Canon RF 24 to 70 lens. And the reason I want part of the reason I want to do this video is because I didn't see any videos that talk about how good this lens do when it comes to making videos. All the videos talk about how good it is for wedding photography and all that. But I didn't see any videos that talks about whether the video is good or how good it is when it comes to taking videos. So I'm gonna talk talk a little bit about that and obviously I'm gonna talk about the pictures. But before I start talking about all that, I wanna ask you a quick question. Which one do you think, which by the way I have the I'm gonna compare it a little bit when it comes to the size from the 24 to 105 lens, which that's about it as a kit lens from my Canon R. So I want to ask you which one do you think it is the 24 to 70 and which one it is 24 to 105? Is it the one on the left or is it the one on the right? And honestly, if you ask me that question, I will tell you the 24 to 105, it will be this one. But I, actually, that's wrong. This is the 24 to 70. I would have thought this is the 24 to 105 because obviously it has more length. Uh, 24 to 105 it goes um, more far so I figured it would be a little longer but that's not the case so com comparing it to the 24 to 105 it was about the same it was a little bit more but it's not really noticeable it's a little fatter but it's not that much but the only difference that I can tell is it's a little taller um, obviously uh, lot line I haven't really tried that good that well, but I did a little bit of testing and this lens it works perfect. It works way better than the one 24 to 105. And the main reason I bought this one instead of the 15 to 35, that's the lens I was going for to buy it. But then I changed my mind because I do a lot of wedding photography and events. So the 24 to 70. 2.8 it was more convenient for me that's something that I really needed when it comes to buying this lens usually I buy all my gear at Best Buy but no I didn't buy it this time at Best Buy because a BH photo video the website they will have a deal and the deal is they give you a kit and that kit was like for the same price it's a free kit and so and the lens is for the same price as Best Buy or any other website and they give you uh, they give you a kit, they give you a, a cleaning kit for you to clean your camera and your lens obviously. Here's the kit, um, if I remember right, it's around 20, 20 to 30 dollars, which which is great, you know, if you get it for free. It comes in with like a new travel bag, so you can easily carry all your stuff to clean your lens. It comes come with um, some, a lot of handy stuff that you can use. Obviously, come with this blower, um, some liquid to clean it, brushes and stuff like that. So this is a great deal. That's why I went with a uh, BH photo video, and they give you these filters. Um, these filters is sixty dollars on the website, and actually on that website you can get. They give you all, all this kit with pretty much almost every lens they got. Oh, well, for the RF lenses, I did notice that they do have this free kit for all of them. And pretty much they give you a UF filter and the other one is a, a polarized filter, which I did use uh, for my testing. Um, it comes in the handy bag. I don't get this one now because I don't really use this, this one. I don't really notice any difference. So the only reason I might use this one is if I do something crazy and I need to protect my hands if I know it's going to get dirty, like throw dirt to it or something that must crush my hands and then I put it on because I don't really know the difference so I don't really I don't use it but it's, it's nice to have and this one obviously I, you're going to use it in long time even though they may be shine now, um, they're pretty good I mean for the price that you pay and obviously they're free but for $60 regular price they're not that bad and obviously it is going to help you so it's, it's, a, it's a great deal it's a great deal to me so that's why I went uh, with them and bought it 
Um, before I show you the pictures and talk about how well these lens do on when it comes to filming video, um, let me do like a quick unboxing, I guess you can say. Um, so it comes with this scoop. Um, this scoop, I usually use it that much unless I go on to like hiking and stuff. Just in case I need to protect my lens and I drop my camera. Um, if I drop my camera, obviously this can protect it a little bit. It's better than it is thin and it straight to the floor. So if I put it like that, if it fails and you hit fade forward um, down, it can protect it a little bit. That's the only reason I use it most of the time. Besides that, I'm gonna use this. And this comes with the bag, so you can put it here and save it. But Honestly, I don't even use these bags. It's really, it, it's, it's made pretty nice and everything, don't get me wrong. But I was carrying my camera bag, so I just put all my lessons in there. And I don't use this. It's nice to have it though. So, um, by the way, the 24 to 105, um, it comes with the same thing. Um, it's pretty much the same. So, let's go to my computer and see. So, as you can see on this video, the picture looks really really good, I like it. And by the way, this bit, this was recording in 4K. But as you can see on the background, it's like really blurry. And the colors are nice, I like it. When it comes to video, it looks way better than what I expected. I don't shoot a lot of videos, but I do once in a while. Now, obviously, when I say I don't shoot that many videos, I mean, besides YouTube videos, obviously I do that, but most of the times I use the 50 millimeters because I like how the, it blurs the background and I think I'm gonna start using this one more often because it did more than what I expected I wasn't expecting like to be this good so when it comes to the video I really like it and by the way this is here is before editing so if you want to see how it looks before um, before I do the color correction and all that, so here this is a little piece. So here are the pictures that I took. I had a few pictures. Uh, this is these pictures are completely raw, so I didn't do any color correction or I didn't change anything out, uh, out of the camera. And here's are the settings that I use uh, for these pictures. So you can have a pretty good idea. I, I try to do it at a lot of different lengths, 24, 70 in between. So this one was um it was a 24. It looks really good, this guy and everything. Uh, this one obviously the focus is like really great. And then this one here, uh, I did it with the polarized on it. I wanted to see how 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 good it looked. Um, obviously because it was made in China to me even though it was made in China it looks pretty good like I said it's free so you're not losing anything so it looks pretty good here's another picture I really like this picture because it's like a frozen in action I like it I like taking pictures like that um, and obviously this one here it was a 70 uh, you can see that it's like really really focused in the background obviously it's like really good I like it I like this picture this one it was kind of hard to get focused on because I was far away so it was like kind of like hard to get it but it was pretty good even if you zoom in when you zoom in you can see that it's not really focused really good because like I said it was really hard but it was focused enough to make it work and obviously here I was trying to keep trying with the polarized. You can see the sky looks really good, and the water obviously, and the bowl is like focused. And here you can see the city. I like it. And this one I had the polarized to see the difference. And I know when it comes to the polarized filter, it's supposed to take out the reflection. So I guess. On this picture you can see the sky reflecting and on this one you cannot see anything really so I guess it does work when it comes to the polarized working it looks better I guess 
or I don't know if it was the angle. I haven't really messed with polarized filter too much about it, so I'm not really. I haven't really tried a lot to see to say that that's really what it made the difference. But if that's the reason, I wish I would have. I forgot I had it all. Honestly, when I took this picture, so I wish I would have to do like a quick experiment to do one picture. Uh, with it and without it to see what's really the difference, but as the other pictures um, You see there's no reflection here either. So I think um, That's pretty good So I guess it does do any job even though it was made in China So um, I'm really happy about it So I hope you like this video and thanks for watching